what's going on guys welcome back to another youtube video today we're going to be talking about a topic called liquid tuesday which is something i've obviously made up where i like to go liquid on my investments almost every single tuesday well when i say every investment i mean high tax investments normally the cards over 100k and they have 5k tax or more and i believe in going liquid on them almost every single tuesday unless we had the situation where we had last week where we were had confirmation of no new promo cards or the showdown um promo where we basically got no new promo cards we just got re-releases basically those cards aren't going to affect the market they aren't going to make the current cards turn old they will still be the most recent promo cards which is huge for the terms of investment because basically when you get new promo cards people forget about the last week's one and they basically start to go slowly down the reason why i like to go liquid on tuesdays because what normally happens on tuesdays well, after our Monday market rise, which we've obviously covered in a few videos ago, or yesterday's video, the market starts to do this. It starts to plateau. It stays a bit flat. Sometimes you see a brief rise. Uh, sometimes we get some gamble content on Tuesday. Sometimes we get nothing. Sometimes we just get terrible player SPCs. But what we don't really see is the market go boom every single day. Unless you have someone saying there's no new promo coming and people start to hold on to their investments and they feel comfortable. What's the reason for this? Well, simply... When we get leaks, people start to turn their attention to them like, oh, I kind of don't want to use Kalulu anymore. I want to use Badia Shield or something like that, right? Or they see uh, Makano, they're like, wow, I'm going to panic so my friend sent it back. Uh, I want to use that one, even though they, know, they don't know they can't afford it yet. That's why I believe in Liquid Tuesdays. It's a zero risk play, which is something I'm a massive fan on. You can always lazy sell these 20, 30k informs, which are usable. They seem to lazy sell really well throughout the week as well. That could take you on from Tuesday to Thursday or Friday. Where you could then start investing in new team of the week cards promo cards buying the dip any card you want to use in your team doing some fluctuation trades but don't forget fluctuation trading is trading not investing when you get profit you take the profit and you move on to a new trade you're never going to time the top tier and buy and sell the most expensive you're never going to time the bottom and buy the cheapest you have to buy in at some point if you think the price is right then feel free to buy in remember you're never going to learn anything without losing coins be very aware of that I'm going to show you some examples of why I believe in Liquid Tuesdays and how it's worked out over the last few months. You guys might all remember Future Stars, this is actually Team 2. We've got Kalulu over here, let's go back to his graph. So we saw a big drop in this card up to Sunday. And as you'll see here, you can see there's just a flat line followed by a little drop and then a heavy fall off because of a new promo and a replacement or a centre back SBC. This is the first example of a card not really doing anything from Tuesday. Anything on Tuesday he was 111 and then he actually steadily dropped. People who bought on Tuesday for investments or didn't sell, they lost value. That's one example. DJ Spence, another card who did something very similar. He peaked on Monday, as we normally see. Tuesday must have got some gamble content, and honestly, he just faded away slowly, 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 until he become actual fodder. To be very aware that this can still happen even on the cheap cards. Let me show you some expensive ones like a Rauho. You might be thinking, wow, this is a nicer graph, right? Nice big rise on Tuesday. Well, not really what you think, right? Because you still have the new promo coming on Friday. He's 761. By Friday, he's 750. You might not think that's a lot. But he's down 10k or 15k. Plus, there's also a lot of tax on that card. That card is down. He does rebound the week after. But a lot of people, if you are fluctuation trading, will not end up holding the stone because it's basically investing. And he, he did peak back up, but most people would have sold by then. Lucas Mora. With these UCL cards, they have a whole different kind of pattern. You want to sell live cards the day before the game now, by the way. You don't want to hold them even to the game because they seem to peak the night before. Make sure you sell the day before and we'll take a look. So this card he got on Monday, he got to 201. You can see he just slowly fell off as the hype died down. And I don't think his game was that weak. He actually slowly, slowly uh, fell off. So you would have lost almost 10k a card if you had bought like a lot. If you bought 10 cards, it's 100k as he slowly trickled off. He does rise, of course. That's again another fluctuation, the Sunday market rise. As you can see here, peak on Monday, peak on Monday. You want to be selling on Monday really, right? If you can, late night Monday or before 6 to be safe. And then you see the same pattern here again. Monday, Monday, leading up to the game. Guess what? He drops in the lead up and then we all know what happens when Tottenham got knocked out, right? As you can see, every single Tuesday, this card pretty much was lower than it was on Monday, as is the case with lots of other live cards. Uh, another example is like Martinelli. This is a very expensive card. The tax is quite high. I have held this card quite a few times. Tuesday here, he was 835. He actually went up a bit, but guess what? He came straight back down, 807, all the way down. He goes upgrade and flew. And guess what? Tuesday, Monday to Tuesday, what's the difference? Nothing. And what's after Tuesday? Drop for new promo. Be aware of that. Do we see it again here? Now, this is new promo 
dip. But yeah, this is the main one where he took a massive dip again on Tuesday. So if you can, can't already see, selling before Tuesday is a generally a good move on a lot of these cards. They seem to just get panic. Um, we'll move on to put fancy now because I'm sure this will have happened with these cards as well, just like every other card. Um, let's take a look here. Who has done kind of poorly? In all honesty, a lot of these cards are up right now, so it might not be the best example in all honesty. So if you look at Isaac, obviously a lot of these cards are higher now, but if you can play the long term game, you're okay. Yeah, Isaac did that. Sunday, 292, 293 on Monday, didn't move or drop, and then Tuesday he starts to drop. Probably with like a gamble SBC. Uh, new promo leaks, team two leaks, all these things will cause a dip. But basically, what I'm trying to say, Liquid Tuesdays exist because it's overnight flips on Sunday to Monday and you need to cash out the profit because it's way less risky. Uh, if you have a look at another card, Fernando even. So these are even some of the cheaper cards which are doing the same pattern I'm talking about and that's why I don't even lazy sell these cards. So this guy, on the daily, sorry, uh, he was cheap on Sunday, 52, got high on Monday, 54, and you could look at this drop he took. Down on 50 Tuesday, keep holding, he'll be he'll come back. Bang. You had to hold all the way till Friday to time the low point, and he can't he did come back. I wasn't wrong. But he's still lower than he was on Monday. And that's why you sell on on Mondays every single day. Because you don't know what content is coming and you don't know the fear behind it. Um another example we can use here will be a card like King and Cordoba, because I know both these cards have performed very poorly. King, I think, was mini release. No, he wasn't king look so sunday rise into monday and look where he is now 473 he could have got on monday and here he comes and i don't even want to know what's gonna happen after today tottenham do play this weekend so it could be a different story i'm recording this a week before by the way on wednesday the 15th in case you guys weren't aware i'm currently skiing right now um but we have confirmation of no new promo cards coming so these liquid tuesdays does not apply when there's no new promo because there's nothing to fear so you can keep holding your investments so in theory, this king will be up. Uh, who knows by the time you see this video, it probably goes up and then comes down if Tottenham don't keep a clean sheet. If they do, he keeps going up or holds at least, or goes up and dips and holds. But um, yeah, as you can see here, another example of a Monday market peak and then drop. Heavy drop, right? Cordoba, exact same graph. Sunday, held on Monday, didn't really, really go up a ton and slowly started to come down. You see? It's the same patterns every single week, realistically. We'll look at the current team, well, the last Premier team, which you guys will have seen. And while well, I'm recording this on Wednesday, so I can show you some of the stuff that has happened on these cards. Let's look at DeMarcus, for example. Of course, this is a slightly different situation in these cards because these guys do not actually play. Um, they do play, sorry. They don't, we don't have new promo cards to replace them. You can see here, he peaked on Tuesday, very early, early, very early hours, very late night on Monday. And look where he's at now. Just a flat line right it's not a flat line by any means but you get the idea he hasn't moved right but that's even with confirmation on no new promo that's why liquid tuesdays are the move up meccano who knows what's going on with this card he was heavily invested in and he got um he got uh he's got so basically when a card is extinct for that long but there's enough supply of people are buying it it's going to move weird after we mean a lot of people holding it so it's slightly different this one doesn't really apply the regular pattern but it is tuesday you can see it is Wednesday, sorry, right now. You can see Tuesday, he actually went up a little bit. This guy, this graph is kind of skewed because he only came onto the market on Monday. So we're kind of we'll ignore that one, I'll say. The pattern is pretty much the same for a lot of these cards. Jota. Let's take a look where Jota was on the weekend. I'm sure he was much higher. I know for a fact he was. And as you can see here, this is the perfect example of why you do liquid Tuesdays. Monday, Sunday into Monday, he didn't even rise. Tuesday didn't even move. Basically the same price the whole time. And you have wasted your time by just holding this card when there's a lot of other investments you could have made. This guy's been 2.89 p.m. on Saturday and he's still at 2.95. He's up like 10k now. He's barely moved. There's a ton of other better moves you could have made. And it's another example of why you go liquid on Tuesdays. Because the reason this card is not down more is very simple. There's no new promo. Now imagine there was a... You can see he was here. He was like 2.83 before the new promo. No new promo cards got leaked. Basically, this card is basically rebounding based on the assumption there's no new promo cards coming in packs. Basically, why a lot of these this team has done well and started to bounce even more because of confirmation of new promo. For example, Emre Chan has bounced really well since that announcement, and it's a card I really like. I did tip this at 310. He actually looked, he, he hit hit the, hit a peak on Tuesday early morning, and that's when you want to be out by right early morning. So if Liquid Tuesdays means you need to be out of your cards by like 1 2 p.m. UK time. He hits, hits his peak. And then bang, slowly comes down. 
and he was actually chilling down the way at, all the way down at 290 295 and guess what no new promo was leaked no new promo cards and he drops again very simple process liquid tuesdays and it's very easy to trade every single week and it's a risk-free play highly recommend you all do it unless you have confirmation on no new promo cards coming other than that while you are liquid you don't always ever be fully liquid you just trade low risk cards with low tax and low budget for example griezmann or these other informs which are discard price this week you're probably looking at jonathan david uh, let me pull up the team of the week quickly and i'll just tell you the cards even though i'm recording this at 7 45 on tuesday so these on wednesday this is these prices are crazy but david will lazy sell really well Openda is gonna be a really good out of pack investment and um rabio probably does really well as well we have a lot of options trossard could do decent too because arsenal are in good form but yeah those the, the kind of card i look to lazy sell will probably be jonathan david Openda, and rabia as those will have the most demand and are the most usable those are the kind of plays you want to make midweek as the risk is so low the tax is so low and as a result you can't really get burned anywhere near as much if the market does horrendously crash and even if a new replacement card comes they're not going to affect this really low tier budget card you get 100 in your transfer list and you lazy sell them just like this and there you go there's a phil foden from back in the day still selling other than that thank you for watching hopefully you learned about liquid tuesdays today and you found it useful and why I like to go liquid every Tuesday if I can or convert from the high risk trades to the low risk trades because it's very low risk and low risk is very very important in FIFA because losing coins is easier than making coins you have to protect your risk and you have to be careful with it but yeah other than that uh, like subscribe share the video leave me a comment let me know what you think uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel follow my twitch channel too join my free trading discord my patreon if you want the most premium tips of all <laughs> and yeah other than that like subscribe share the video and I love you all